Ben Ali came to power in Tunisia in 1987 with the words, Our people deserve an advanced and institutionalized political life, truly based on the plurality of parties and mass organizations. Today, dissent is silenced. There is no such thing as a free press or media. The security forces use intimidation and harassment techniques against anyone who speaks out against the government, from students to judges. La Tunisie, c'est vrai, est un beau pays, un très beau pays. Nous avons des, des, de très belles plages. Il y a le beau soleil de la Tunisie que les touristes adorent. Malheureusement, ça n'est qu'une façade. Il y a les, tous les partis politiques qui n'ont pas la liberté de s'exprimer, de défendre leur position. Leurs journaux sont interdits des fois. Il y a la censure, il y a l'autocensure. If you dare speaking out about the human rights record of Tunisia or if you dare criticizing the authorities, you, your family, your friends might face terrible consequences. Je garde moi-même une cicatrice au front et une fracture, heureusement, une fracture pas déplacée au niveau du nez. Il euh, y a d'autres amis, d'autres militantes qui ont été... Euh, euh, agressé violemment ou traité de folle en plein public. The repression can go as far as having politically motivated trials against you and you might end up in prison. Tunisia's pro-Western foreign policy has protected it from criticism over its violations of human rights and freedom of press. Le 11 septembre, et avec cette fameuse lutte contre le terrorisme, les autorités tunisiennes ont pris ça comme prétexte pour violer encore plus nos droits, pour pour réprimer tout le monde, pour interdire aux associations d'avoir des activités pour agresser physiquement et même dans les rues de la capitale les défenseurs et les défenseurs femmes. There's a set of uh, of laws that the Tunisian authorities are using to to repress all form of dissent in the country, but that apparently was not enough for the authorities, and they've decided to go a step further. So not only have they managed to silence the voices of Tunisian within the country, but now what they're trying to do is to silence Tunisians outside the country. The government has now amended Tunisia's penal code, which deals with violations of external security. Those convicted of this crime face up to 20 years in prison, with a minimum sentence of five years. The changes will target human rights activists who lobby foreign bodies such as the European Union to put pressure on the Tunisian government over its human rights record. Amnesty International, in its latest report, documents what tactics the authorities are using to silence critical voices in the country. On ne va pas euh, nous dire que le terrorisme euh, justifie la torture parce que on va sauver des centaines de gens si on torture quelqu'un. Ça, c'est c'est d'abord un gros mensonge et, et c'est inacceptable. Tunisian activists need to know that France, but also other partners of Tunisia, will stop turning a blind eye to what's happening to them on a daily basis.